In this last video on the new block layout and editor, I'm going to cover widgets and embeds together because widgets is pretty simple. You can add any widget into a post in any position on your layout just by clicking and adding it. And there's your latest posts. You can make it in a list or in a grid, and it's right there embedded in the post. This can be really, really great and really helpful. Now you'll notice over here on the right, I've got my latest post settings. If I want to just make it events, well, then you'll see just the latest post from that category. And I can change a few of these options, like what the order is, how many items to display, and whether I want to show the date or not. That's a really helpful feature, and it's one of the widgets that's built into WordPress. As you build more widgets, they'll all become available right here inside your block layout tool. How cool is that? All right, finally, the embed tool. This is just mind boggling. It's so amazing. You can embed anything from any of these. And of course, we don't have time in this video series to cover all of them. Let me just show you a simple YouTube embed. So I'm going to click on YouTube and all I need is the URL. I'm going to paste that in and click embed. How simple was that? Now you'll note with this particular theme, again, I can make this full width. That doesn't work with every theme and this option will disappear depending on the theme you're using. But for this one, I'm going to make it full width because I think that's really cool. And I'm also going to come back up here and make this full width because again, I think that's just really cool. Click update view post. And now I've got an amazing post. And there it is. One of my favorite clips. <laughs> We could actually spend a little bit more time making this a little bit cleaner. But to be honest, this was so simple and so quick, you'll be able to create fantastic layouts like this in no time at all using WordPress's block layout tool.